Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Patreon, which is patreon.com forward slash elite wave green. I'm your host Shaheen. In, in today's video, I'm going to update my analysis on uh, British Pound and Euro. Uh, there seems to be at a very important place, so I need to uh, give a forecast for that. Uh, we will also look, uh, if we'll see if we can have a quick look at gold and silver as well. Let's have a look at British Pound and uh, Euro. First of all, uh, you guys are uh, well aware of my bullish outlook on uh, both of these. I believe that it's a good buying opportunity for uh, British Pound now. So we have seen quite a bit of price movement downward and uh, right now the prices are trading above the trend line giving us an indication uh, that is probably the right point uh, to give a buy right now. In any case if you want to go long in in that case this should not be the used as a reference points just in case the price falls back because still uh, we are running very close to the bottom uh, this should be bottom which is 1.299 should be uh, the reference point for going long so uh, I was talking about going long right all the way over here we have seen good price movement a pull back down right over here I think right now this is another opportunity to go long uh, so my, my analysis for uh, British Pound is giving me positive look uh, outlook for British Pound. I think that the first target definitely is going to be the double top with this one and the next target is going to be in this range right over here which is a previous structural uh, sub resistance right over here. So that's what we are looking at right now. I'm bullish on uh, British Pound and I wanted to update you guys. A similar opportunity is uh, here in uh, in Joro. We have seen uh, prices going up all the way right over here. I hope that some of you guys were able to take benefit. Uh, on a smaller time frame, we can see that we are seeing a correction right now over here, and this is very a very good structure as far as it's able to bounce off of the double bo the double bottom right over here. And I'm expecting that it will bounce off right over here. So what we can use we can use this. Uh, the price to go beyond this particular resi uh, horizontal resistance and once the price is actually goes beyond that uh, that will be giving an indication that we can go long and uh, I want to once again uh, remind you guys that uh, I was telling that British pound is going to, uh, sorry euro is going to go long when it was trading right over here we have seen downward price movement and I was also giving you guys an indication that we expected a long price movement and that's what exactly we have seen right now Oh, so it seems a little in an advanced place as compared to British Pound because uh, British Pound is right now trading uh, somewhere in this range right over here. It still needs to move this particular price movement. With Euro it has gone up and has given us a correction structure along with the going up as well. Giving an indication that the next uh, price swing shall actually take it uh, to the next target zone. So if you look at it right now the prices are trading within the previous um, structural resistance and the next structural resistance comes right over here that's exactly where our target lies for British Pound uh, for Euro I keep on saying British Pound so this is I am at right now remember that Euro was trading all the way back over here if you uh, took benefit of it give me a thumbs up let's have a look at uh, silver uh, right now there is opportunity first of all I you guys are well aware that I am bullish on silver and I'm still stay bullish on silver and gold uh, there is a possibility of a smaller time frame uh, correctional pattern uh, could it be possible that uh, we have only seen the first leg and the second leg and the third leg will come down there is definitely a possibility that the correctional structure that actually started right from over here is not complete but we cannot bet on it remember that we are trying to capture the larger price movement which is supposed to take the prices all the way right over up or right over here so I can give one analysis and that is we are bullish on a on a gold and silver both and we are aiming for this particular swing if you are aiming for this particular swing that you need to be really careful there could be or could not be uh, possible that this correction is complete so once again we do not have any method on a smaller time frame uh, there is a, however caution is needed we can say that there is double top coming so caution is needed definitely caution is needed if you're trading smaller time frame analysis but I would not consider it advisable to trade this particular price movement in silver as long as the larger price movement is concerned I'm definitely definitely bullish on gold and silver both one word that need to bring on that we have 
definitely the structural uh, the correctional support that we have seen the correctional structure we can see that the trend line that I have drawn right now prices went above that giving an indication that uh, we have at least completed this particular swing that was coming right out right over here whether another correction and take it down is another thing but I do not think I think we already have seen uh, bottom forming with the within silver with a previous bottom right over here and I giving I've told you guys that this structural support is very very crucial both for gold and silver once again I am bullish on gold and silver and I'm not aiming for a smaller price movement downward even if it though comes right over here I'm ready to accept that but I am I definitely want to take benefit of prices going high right over here that's my point on gold uh, silver we are seeing a similar structure that's happening on uh, gold as well we definitely are seeing price movement going down and then we have seen price movement going up could there be a possibility it can come down there definitely is a possibility and once again uh, we are aiming for a larger price movement uh, of gold we are aiming for the trade setup of going upward in that case if it, the pullback does happen nothing to worry once again I think that we are very very close to the bottom we already have probably formed a bottom uh, but once again if you want to go long then this area should be used to go long or this should be area any surplus any beyond this area should be used to go long um, once again prices have traded very closely to the this area this area and this area so once again I'm long on gold and silver and I hope that you are guys were able to take benefit of the uh, price swing that we have seen in crude oil a lot of people were quite um, and they're so of course the market are everybody is uh, has choice uh, but we were seeing this price movement and hopefully that some of you guys were able to take benefit of it is the correction complete too early to say I think there is a possibility that the correction is still going on that actually started right from over here so if someone missed the bearish price movement I am still considering it as the first leg of the correction a uh, first leg of the impulsive move and I'm expecting that the correction is yet not complete right now so for the people who are long uh, they want to trade the whole trend downward they definitely uh, should part take part profits and the people who are not uh, short yet I wouldn't say the people who are long I said the people who took the trade right from the top they definitely should take some profit and the people who are not short yet I have not joined the trend they should wait for the bounce to occur if that the bounce does not will come don't worry about it there are other tools that are giving trading setups right now wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye